Welcome to Absurdity Today. I'm Juliana Forlano. Debate season is in full swing. If you missed the vice presidential debate, Paul Ryan's comments may be coming out in a new book. The title? Fifty Shades of Bullshit. Think Progress reported that during the presidential debate, Mitt Romney lied 27 times in 38 minutes. When reached for comment, the Romney team apologized and promised next time to strive for a ratio of one to one. <coughs> Romney voiced moderate positions during the debate, tacking towards center as the same technique George W. Bush used when he lost the election in 2000. Oh, what? I'm sorry. When he won the election in 2000. Lost. Won. Lost. Stole. Romney was said to seem anxious and agitated during the debate. This after Ann Romney commented that she was concerned for Mitt's mental health. Last week, she publicly chastised Mitt's critics for being too harsh. Stop it. This is hard. You want to try it? Get in the ring. Hey, Ann, I don't need to be chastised. Stop it. No, you stop it. Don't take that tone with me. I may have dark hair, but I am not your gardener. Here to comment on Mitt's mental state, psychotherapist and expert in behavioral psychology, me. Of course, the rigors of public life can cause a person extra stress. The question here is, what about Mitt's mental state is cause for concern? Is he confused as to why people across the globe think his brand of success under capitalism is immoral? Because that would be bad. Very bad. Sociopath bad. Perhaps he is becoming aware of exactly how much pain he is personally responsible for causing people across this planet. That would be good, but hard to face alone. I would suggest a support group. Perhaps Capitalist Pigs Anonymous. Hi, I'm Mitt. I'm a capitalist pig. It's been three days since I last destroyed someone's financial security. Hi, Mitt. His amends list would be legendary. <laughs> in other news, and yes, there has been other news, this winter a ski resort in Arizona will make its artificial snow from 100% sewage. The sewage will come from where it always comes from in Arizona. Jan Brewer's mouth. The amount of ice in the Arctic Ocean has shrunk to 20% smaller than the previous record, rendering what was once called the Arctic Ice Cap into something more like an Arctic Ice Yarmulke. Meanwhile, a new study found that 93% of Fox News' climate change coverage is either misleading or blatantly false. This study was conducted by the Union of Concerned Scientists and has been vehemently denied by the Union of Unconcerned Idiots. The encroaching environmental disaster brought on by global warming will likely kill 100 million people in the next two decades. Corporations are people, my friend. Great, so maybe climate change will kill some of them. By the way, I'm not your friend. More than five million people bought the latest iPhone, which is sleek, powerful, and state-of-the-art in every way. Oh, forget it, I'll just take the tumor. Hello? Walmart has decided to stop carrying the Kindle e-reader, much to the chagrin of the four Walmart shoppers that can still read. The Mexican military has captured the leader of the Zetas drug cartel. For more on this development, we go to this newscaster's cleavage. The arrest uh, comes after I'm sorry, has what? I, uh, I got distracted. Maybe I have ADD. Or perhaps I have FLVTEDYD. Flashing lights, violence, and tits everywhere distracting you disorder. <laughs> Detroit's former mayor is on trial for stealing hundreds of thousands from the city. This surprised residents, who were quite certain that Detroit had nothing left to steal. A teenager's online birthday party invite went viral on Facebook. Thousands of people showed up at the youngster's pajama party, several of whom weren't even priests. You're watching Absurdity Today. I'm Juliana Forlano. Don't miss an episode. Follow us on Facebook at Absurdity Today. I'm Absurdity Girl on Twitter if you're watching on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel and click the like button. Wherever you're watching, please leave us a comment. We love hearing your feedback, unless of course you are a paid shill or corporate whore or something. You can have the series delivered to your email inbox by contacting us at absurditytoday at gmail.com. Watch back episodes on the web at absurditytoday.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.